Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. A new study shows police body-worn cameras may not be having the effect some hoped for. Amy Reed joins us now to show us why these results are slowing down efforts with a local agency. Amy? This study actually looked at about 70 studies to come to these results and that's that body-worn cameras have not had a statistically significant or consistent effect on most measures of officer and citizen behavior or citizens' views of police. But today, photojournalist Corey Ferris and I went to Baraboo where their officers have worn cameras for about 10 or 12 years and they say the results of real life use shows something much different. They simply take the camera and install it on their person. Baraboo Police Captain Rob Sinden has been a fan of these cameras since the start. Now if I'm talking to you and I want to uh, start a video, all I have to do is touch that and now we're recording what happens. So we're recording me, right? Exactly. We're recording you right now. Aside from the rare chance to catch the TV crew on the other end of the lens, he said their addition to the force about 10 years ago has made his life a lot easier. I've had a number of cases where in the past it would have taken me months potentially to do an internal investigation. But with the advent of body-worn cameras, the advent of squad cameras, um, investigations, some of my investigations have been 20 minutes long. Are you he also said it helps hold people accountable for what really happened on scene, which could be spotting a drunk UW student harassing an officer. Drop that gun! Or identifying true heroism as police rush to stop a shooter at an office in Middleton. But a new study from George Mason University that examined results from 70 other studies shows the cameras may not be as effective in certain areas as people hoped. The study found there is no strong evidence that links cameras to reduced crime, though they did lead to more arrests, charges, and guilty pleas and verdicts for domestic violence. There were also mixed results for body cameras reducing use of force. One of the original hopes for the gear. This tells a pretty good story. But Captain Sinden said it's not about any of that. Seeing the recording of an incident earlier today shows it's just a way to record the events as they happened. And if there's something wrong with police or community, he said the camera isn't the problem or the solution. Relationships are about people. This is a tool. And I think that uh, uh, if there's any strained relationships between a citizen uh, and the police department, those relationships need to be mended on a one-to-one -one basis by talking and educating your community and having your community educate the police department. Despite these studies, there is still a lot of support for the cameras. Wisconsin Professional Police Association did a random phone poll and found that 94% of the general public favored requiring police to wear these cameras. Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you.